Let the record show that the Board of Education of the Dayton City School District has just completed an executive session during which it considered the appointment and employment of a public employee. Move that we return second. to our meeting. The second. Mr. Lacey, second. Okay. President May we have a vote? Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Seven yeses. I move that we adopt the HR agenda item that was pulled number 24? Uh, number four. Number, number 24. Yeah. Uh, 24. Number 24. Yeah. Yes. Second. Yeah, so it's 24. Yep. Yeah. Moving to second. Moving to second. Any questions? We have a vote. President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Seven yeses. Are we doing a calendar? Okay, do we want to entertain a motion? To approve the district calendar? I move. I'll, I'll second. Uh, move by Board Member Wick, second by Walker. So, just for clarity, are we going to do the bell schedule as well? No, the bell schedule is not for a vote. Okay, just the calendar is because of DEA. Well, yeah, it's there for a vote on the okay. official thing. So, it's a calendar. Okay. Question While we're in this, we also didn't vote on the DEA. MOU for the 10 development days, which would be reflective inside this calendar. Yeah, that is another one, too. Is it say for a vote? Was it advertised for a vote? It does. It yes, is that's for a vote. So just saying that we would have to move that on there, too. Okay. So it's that one and the, the settlement one. Just finish the calendar and then move on. So just putting up that. Any other questions? Nope. This one is for the calendar. calendar. Yes. Okay. President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Uh, Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Seven yeses. I'll entertain a motion for uh, agenda item H. So moved. H. Second. Mm -hmm. This is for the DEA memorandum of understanding for the professional days. For the 10 development days. So you seconded it. I moved it. No. May we have a vote? Uh, Bailey. Uh, oh, Bailey. Any question? No, you're good. Okay. Bailey second. Okay. We have a vote. President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Seven yeses. Okay, I'll entertain a motion for I, the uh, settlement agreement. So moved. moved. Second. Been for moved and second. Well, was that for a vote? I. For clarity. No, that was already voted in. Yeah. No, that one we voted for yep. the yeah. settlement agreement. So I do have a question. Go ahead. For item F, do we still need to do that one? That was the limited teacher contracts. Did you get a chance to look at mm -hmm. the? Did you look at the, the list? Because we didn't vote on that one. It all wasn't no one there. He said there he is no list. Okay. So I'm waiting for it. It's not come through yet. The ones I, I pull up the table for next week. No, no. The list where you said you it wanted the. It didn't come through yet. Dr. Jones, did you send that list? I got it. With yeah, the teachers? yeah we sent it. that. Uh -oh. You have to abstain from it. Well, let me read it. Give me a second. No, you said you were going to abstain. There is no list. You wanted the list. Yeah, the list was emailed, so. I got interviews. This was the most recent today. That's my most recent one. Interviews. I got. I don't have a list, guys. I should have a list, though, to be approved. We got two emails. Training. Can one of y'all forward it to me? Because I'm not. It's nothing in my email. Uh, to be the, approved, uh, though, I should have a list. Yeah, you on there? No, on the. I hear you. I just gotta look at it. I just sent it again. You just sent it. So the last motion was 
Was that you, Lacey? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that was from the one, you know, to, we can draw that. Because people check on that. Let me see, you got it up on your page. Hmm? You got it up on your page. All right, go ahead. All right, so then we would first need so okay. make a motion to waive the 48 hour rule. Yep, I'll second that motion, motion to waive, to the, waive 48 the 48 hour, hour waiver. waiver on item F. I'll second that. Do we have any questions? What is this for 48 hour for the, the teacher. resolution to approve certain limited teacher contracts? F. Just a 48 hour waiver on it. Can we vote? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Abstain. I do it on both of them. Y'all do check out. <laughs> Dr. Bailey? Yes. Uh, Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reynard? Yes. Six yeses, one abstain. Now we need to actually entertain a motion. So Four. moved. Second. Been moved and second. Any questions? Seeing none, maybe have a vote. President Smith? Yes. Miss Wick? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Abstain. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Uh, Mr. Walker? Abstain. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Okay, two abstain, five yeses. Okay, now, conversation. We, hmm, low district calendars was not up for a vote, and we did entertain a motion for that. Do we want to entertain a motion as a board for the approval of the 24-25 bail schedule? I think since it wasn't advertised that it should wait until Monday, our next board meeting. This your calendar wasn't either on here for a vote. Oh, I said that for that one too. Yeah, still one with it, but yeah. Not, yeah, and I think the district calendar is one they asked for because of something with DEA. Well, both of them was the conversation. Well, if people do speak on the calendar, you still can do a motion to reconsider. I get it. So I'll, I'll move. I'll second. Which bell one? Schedule. For bell schedule. K. Yeah, K. Okay. This is long. Any questions? Can we look at uh, the, the nine to four schedule is like very, very long. And I, I think even with our high schools, all of them are going at the same time. And I think that that's where we get a lot of feedback from of high school students of where they are. Mm, so, so you're saying you would want to have a little more conversation around having high schools had a different start times? Yes. I think that respectfully that's not a conversation for us to have here because we are not in tune with the logistics and um, the reasoning why this bell schedule is put together the way it is. Thank you. Yeah, and for me it was only because they're not on a transportation schedule per se. Um, so the justification of theirs being eight to three and things like that of why they can't be split up amongst all three tiers of bail schedules. But I get tier three maybe out of the <coughs> wing because again, high school sports and things like that, but just looking at that piece for the other ones. So do you, would you want to have an end up conversation with admin so they can give you more detail? Yeah, that would be great. 
So would you want to then table the motion? No, I'm I'm fine with approving it. Just as we get next year's calendar and bell schedule that we look at this time. All right, no problem. I will definitely note that. Any other questions? Any other questions? Seeing none, maybe we have a vote. President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Stay. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Six yeses, one abstain. Mm -hmm. Any other agenda items for the good of the order? Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion to name Dr. Marvin Jones interim business manager effective July, June 1st, 2024. I second it. Okay. Uh, any questions, conversations on the motion? I have a few questions. Okay. Well, I haven't even had the opportunity to talk about this, and I'm not going to vote. So uh, I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair to the whole board. I think it's unfair to the position, to the people that are here, and it doesn't set a standard that I want to adhere to. So I'm not going to vote for it. I appreciate your comments. Any other questions on motion? Can we, I would like to have a conversation with the board about this. I also um, think that this is a conversation we need to have an executive as a board um, about the direction of um, our direct reports. And I don't, it is of my opinion that we are not prepared to go forward not having had these conversations at this point at all. Would the board want to have a brief recess? Not tonight. It's 11.04. We've already had recess. I think it's unfair to put us in this position. I'm ready to vote. Either to pass or it won't. Anybody else, though? There is no desire to have a conversation in executive, I see. And if not, maybe I, we have. I, parliamentarian, I would like to move to table this until further discussion. It's a motion on the floor already, so he would have to accept that. Like, you can't cancel out his motion with another motion. Board Member Walker, I would respectfully request um, that you would withdraw your motion so the board can discuss this and approach this with fidelity and thoughtfulness the way it deserves. Okay. People just said while I appreciate that, um, I, I decline. Hmm? Any other questions, no. comments? I'll tell you. I wanted to have a conversation with Marvin before. So once again, I will ask, would you want to have a brief recess to have that conversation. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. We've been here this long. All right. <clears throat> Is there a second on the motion for a recess? Is there a second? Oh, I'm still in the middle of somebody else's oh, go ahead. motion. Yeah. So, <laughs> so would Walker, you would allow you, a brief recess? Would you allow a brief recess? I, I will allow a brief recess. All right. So in the interest of time, do we need to go through a whole vote, second, it, or can we go by majority yeas or nays? That's what the board agreed on. But if it's going into the exec, though, for personnel, you're still going to have to say that reason. Yep. It's just Dr. Bailey. All right. Joe said he's going to be here all day. Well, pursuance, pursuance of Section 121.22G2 of the Our Advice Code, I move this board going to executive session. This meeting is being held to consider the appointment and employment of a public employee. Do I have a second? Second. It's been seconded. Do I have any questions? May we have a vote? President Smith? Yes. Yes. 
Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? No. Uh, Mr. Walker? Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reynolds? Yes. Six yeses, one no. I'm gonna stay right here though, cause I'm good. So y'all hurry up. Let the record show that the Board of Education at Dayton City School District just completed an executive session during which it considered the appointment and employment of a public employee. May I have a second to return to our regular second. meeting? We have any questions? Seeing none, may we have a vote? President Smith? Yes. I'm staying. Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Six yeses, one abstain. So we're back on the original motion. Correct. Yes. Right. Any further questions, comments on the motion? Yes, Ms. Reinhardt. For the record, I would like the um, I would like the public to know that my vote tonight is not reflective upon the abilities of the individual. My vote tonight is reflective of the way in which this board conducted this business. Um, two female employees on this board were not informed of this action prior to tonight's meeting. Um, this board should work as a whole under strong, collaborative leadership. Um, it is my hope that in the future, the board can learn some very hard lessons from what just happened. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, comments on the motion? Yes. Mr. Walker? I just would like to say that um, I think that this decision is one that we need to make in order to move this district forward in the best way possible. I think that um, board members' feelings are well taken. However, I think board members have to get out of just being one building minded, one focus minded on one individual and not the whole entire district and put personal emotions aside and really do the work of the entire district that we are charged with and not our own personal crying emotions or anything like that. So thank you to my colleagues. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Ms. Wick. Board Member Walker, I appreciate you. I appreciate your words. I appreciate um, your consideration. Um, I talk to my board colleagues every day and to not have been considered in conversation around all of this is, is a bit shocking. It's not me crying or not, you know, uh, please take the emotion out of it. I'm a grown person and I certainly have presented myself well over seven years to conduct myself in non-emotional manners professionally throughout my tenure with the board organization. So I take offense to that personal attack that way. Um, when we look at our organization and we talk about culture within our organization and we identify it as being a big problem all the time, when we have a body of seven and you have two people that have not been considered in conversation, I believe that's part of culture. And I believe if we don't look at our own behavior as part of the problem of culture, then we might as well not do any of the work. Because if we don't think that the work starts at the top, we're far, far from seeing reality of the situation. Because people do watch these board meetings, and this is not about um, the, the, the recommendation, it's consideration of the recommendation and the thought behind it. And we all have phones, we pick up, I talk, I talk to two of these board members every day, every day, 
And this is my first inkling that this was even part of a consideration. And as a board member too, if this was work that I was interested in conducting, it's my responsibility to pick up the phone and talk to every board member. If there's ever any work that I've considered doing that I'd like to advocate for, I pick up the phone, I call people. Whether or not that means they may or may not agree with them, it is my responsibility as a part of this body to communicate, not in two minutes before somebody is going to motion for something that they communicate. That's me, that's the way I communicate personally, that's the way I lead and conduct myself, and that's the way I hope that everybody within this organization conducts themselves. We, um, we challenge our leadership all the time to be better communicators. We challenge Dr. Lawrence to be a better communicator all the time. Why would we not challenge ourselves to be better communicators? And I think this shows poor, poor communication on some of our board colleagues' parts. So uh, I apologize if I've been a little emotional about this. This took me quite by surprise, quite off guard. Um, and uh, well-played strategy for all of you. I, I probably know why you didn't talk to me because it was a strategy on your part. So kudos to you for your strategy. And uh, Dr. Jones, this is certainly nothing against you. Uh, Ms. Powell, thank you for your service. I certainly appreciate you. I apologize for this board not having the consideration to communicate with you about this before it was delivered to you in front of this audience because we actually tonight talked about that part of communication, about talking with people before these, these decisions are made so that people are aware of. So, um, so, uh, I apologize to the community and to my colleagues if I have been a little emotional. That's not my, that's not my MO, but um, I would hope that we would all become better people as a result of some of this work or this, this incident. That's it. Thank you. Any other comments, questions? Seeing none, may we have a vote? President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Abstain. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Abstain. Five yeses, one abstain. Motion to adjourn. So move. Our second. My bad. <laughs> May we have a vote? Yes, you had five and two of the last vote. Yeah. Mr. Lacey oh, said. I thought you said one, but that maybe I missed No, I said two. Okay. Who? <laughs> I made the motion, Dr. Goodwine, second. Okay. Okay. President Smith? Yes. Ms. Wick? Yes. Dr. Goodwin? Yes. Dr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Lacey? Yes. Mr. Walker? Yes. Ms. Reinhardt? Yes. Seven yeses.